Hello everyone, Emily here. Today I want to show you how to do a palm tree, a sun and a flamingo. I thought it would be a nice summery feel. So all you're going to need is paper, landscape, so it's a landscape way up, and then you need a pencil, so I'm going to use a pen just so you can see. Let's go! Right, so you want to do a sun. So let's do a nice big circle in the middle of the page. Go around it more than once if you don't get what you want, because I always like to sort of really try and make it very rounded. It's quite a simple picture actually, because then we're going to do a tree. So somewhere in that sun, you kind of want to just maybe touch there and just go, oh, think about how a palm tree looks. So that is really good. That is quite a nice shape. Then we're going to go, reminds me of a skirt. I think it's the other way actually, like they go up the other way, the palm tree. So let's do it for this way because this picture I quite like the fact that it's a bit different. And then the top of the palm tree, it's super easy. We're just going to go. It's quite nice for it to go in the sun, like if it shows in the sun a little bit, that's quite nice. Could do one in here, just like a little one. Then we're going to draw a flamingo, which I've drawn in my other videos. And I've done lessons as well on flamingos. So if you want to do an online lesson, just look at the details below. We're going to do a shape that looks like an egg. Quite a small one because it's going to be the head of the flamingo. Then we're going to do touch there. And you're going to go down. All the way down there. Little curve. Join it up. Mine, it always reminds me of an ice cream cone. Like a, a wobbly ice cream cone or something. And then we want to do an eye. Now, I quite like doing cartoon eyes or any eye you like, but I'm going to do a cartoony eye. And then I might just do a shape in the beak. I just quite like to do a shape, maybe a shape there. Then we're going to do the neck. So it's a little bit like a swan or it reminds me a little bit of a snake. So you're going to touch there. Pause the video if I'm going so fast, but pause there and just go, ah! Then on that baked bean, just go across a bit and then do the same. But this goes lower. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a body now. We're going to go, ah. So just, whoosh, and then just here, go up and just do a flick. Something like that is fine. If it's not exactly that, doesn't matter. We could do a nice little wing as well. And then if you think about a flamingo leg, they're really strange flamingo legs, aren't they? They're kind of like one goes there, we could do one there, but you want to make it chunkier here. So just make it a little bit chunkier where they join. And then let's do some, let's do some, um, I can't think of the word, big stones is nice. Just rounds off the picture. So do a big stone there. And the sun, let's do this. La, la, la. If you don't want to touch the thing, you just float over. So you touch there and you go down. So touch, float. Touch, float. Touch. Oh, it doesn't matter there, does it? <laughs> okay. So there is my very, very simple um simple sometimes best isn't it so there's my simple summer picture i'm going to rub some lines out so what where's my rubber rub out inside here i'll just try and find the rubber guys let's have a look right obviously because i'm doing it in pen mine's not a rubber but you need to rub yours out so whatever's in this little bit here, rub out. And whatever's in the head of the flamingo. And you know what? Even that line there, don't need that anymore. Could do it in there, but it's gonna be a different color, so it's fine. That is it. How simple was that? So now we're going to color it in. I think I'm going to use paint. Shall I? I think I'll use paint. You can use anything. 
I'm going to use paint. So the first colour I'm going to do, I really want to do a light colour because otherwise my paintbrushes get super messy. So I'm going to get a yellow. And I'm going to colour. The sun doesn't have to be yellow. You could literally do the sun orange, purple. You could keep the sun white, maybe. So that's yellow. I'm sure you could tell. But then I might make, do you know what? I'm going to do a red. It's gone a bit orangey, actually. It's quite a big picture, this is, I've just realised. So mine's gone a bit orangey, which is yellow and red. By accident, I mixed them, but I kind of like it. Kind of like that effect. On the video, it looks strange, the um, the paint, because it's glistening on the light. So don't worry if it looks odd. Right, so I'm doing orange, miss a gap, orange, miss a gap, orange. Can you see my brush is huge? But it's a flat brush, so it's a bit easier for me to um, do edges. I'll explain what I mean in a minute. So if I've got a flat brush, I can go in between the gaps. And if you prefer to do a smaller brush, then do a smaller brush. And I don't have to go all the way to the edge of the paper, although I think I will now. I like the idea now. <laughs> Let's go to the edge. I don't normally go to the edge, but yeah, I like the idea now. So my red's turn, my orange is turning into a red, which is fine. And if you're not careful, you'd end up doing what I've just gone and done, which is I can't do an extra one. But you know what? I will sort that out. Now, if you do it watery, you can go over the legs and you'll still see the legs. But if you haven't, it doesn't matter. Now, what I'm going to do is if you've done something where you're like, oh, no, I can't do the other bit. Just create another line. Won't do it there, though. <laughs> and then colour that little line in the... I did red, that one. Maybe wear an apron because I forgot mine. I left it in a school that I was teaching in. Okay, so there is my, I quite like that, you know. There's my sun. It's a bit orangey there, isn't it? So I'm gonna go over some red. An experiment, just take your time and just have fun with this. Really have fun with it, because it's really nice to sort of take your time. Now, I'm gonna get yellow, which has got a little bit orangey. I'm gonna do the other bits. love yellow. I just think it looks so nice, doesn't it? And yellow, it's okay if you go over some of the lines with yellow because yellow you can go over anyway because it's such a light colour. It's quite nice to, if you wanted to, when this is dry, you could outline all the lines, like you could go over the pencil lines with a sharpie if you're allowed or just a black pen my mum doesn't like sharpies because I once put it on the sofa and it wasn't good I didn't mean to it just went on there <laughs> so yeah it's hard to get out of things sharpie so you're better off with black felt tip if you can so there's my sunshine now your sunshine can be anything and it's quite nice to as I say outline the lines to go over the lines with black. I mean, you could even do it with a tiny paintbrush, really thin line, if you wanted to at the end, do it at the end. Now we're gonna make a green, which is, what is a green? Sorry, my thing's making noise. It's a yellow and a blue. So any green that you think would look nice. I love to outline it first. Look, I've smudged it. It does look nice because it's like a cartoon, so it does look nice to outline it. And at the end, right, green. Now we want to make a brown. I didn't fill that in, did I? I just realised. <laughs> right, we want to make. Should we make a pink first for the flamingo? I quite like that. So that's red and white. And you can make it as dark as you like. I quite like a bit of a dark colour, otherwise 
it won't show up, will it, very much. So all of the flamingo, apart from the legs and the beak and the eye, so it's not all the flamingo, is it? all of it's pink. So take your time. Take your time with the flamingo. Oh, I like that pink. Okay, then we want to get a small brush. I've just realised, it's funny because as you're painting, you realise you've missed bits because I've missed a bit of red there from the back of the sun. Now we want to make a brown. If you're not ready, do not worry. Just pause the video. So to make a brown, you do, I'm trying to remember, you do an orange. You do an orange and you put a bit of blue in there. Now it takes a bit of time to get a brown, but I've got the brown now and it seems to be quite all right. So just fill them in. You could always have your own brown anyway. You could do black and brown. So with my brown that I've just made, I made my brown with red, yellow and blue. So you mix all the primary colors together to make a brown. Now, a bit like the sun, you miss a gap. And I quite like the idea of doing the rest of that before we get a yellow. I'm just going to put a bit more yellow in there and then it will give you a different colour. It's quite cool. And as I say at the end, definitely outline it if you want to because it would look really cool. I may do that anyway in black paint, but you've got to be super careful. Now let's have a look. I'm gonna Black, I want black now for the beak. Oh, love doing black because it really shows up. I mean, this is a cartoon beak, so it probably wouldn't look exactly like this, which is fine. Then, oh, okay, with my small brush, if you don't want to do this, let it dry and do it with a felt tip afterwards or even a pencil. I'm going to go around all my lines. So, Ah, uh, it's quite tricky. You obviously got to take your time. I'm just doing it quicker for the video so you can see what it looks like. Can you see how it comes together when it's outlined? There's a wing in there. It's almost like I can't breathe just so, <laughs> so I can do. Right, sunshine. It reminds me a little bit of the stained glass window actually. Okay. You've got all the time to do this, by the way, so don't worry. But all I'm doing is I'm making a watery black. It's a bit like ink, and I'm using the tip of a small brush. So as long as you've got a small brush, because you don't want to do a line that's too chunky. What I mean by that is, hang on get a piece of paper to show you. So if you press down you'd get that but if you did it really thin tip of the brush you get that. So you can get so many different thicknesses. Most people would draw around it when it's dry. I probably would but I want to show you what it looks like when it is black around the edges because it's really nice. I make a mistake now, aren't I? <laughs> oh. Ooh, okay. Doing good, doing good. Hmm. Oh, it's quite tricky to do it from the side. Oh man, look at that. Yes. Let's take our time, Emilou. I can't believe the, the last bits are the, <laughs> the hardest. Now there's no blue in there, is there? Which is fine, you don't need blue, but um, if you wanted to, you could add some water. Um, I quite like adding a bit of white with a new brush just to bit of white there maybe. 
white makes things stand out so it's always nice to to add white but yeah there we have it there's my flamingo my palm tree and my sunshine and see how you get on i am going to sign my name there Da -da -da. you could do anything to this you could literally get chalks and get, i love chalks i love going over and paint with chalks but you could even get white blobs and you could put white blobs where the sun is you can make this picture really pretty and detailed but this is just a basic starting point really you can keep it as this or you can let it dry and do more to it because i love adding to my pictures so yeah Woo. Let me know how you get on, like, subscribe and share and I shall see you soon.